I'm R.T. Gibbons. I'm R.T. Gibbons, and I'm here to take over the daggum fishing game. Ready. Where am I going? Up in the rankings. Where am I headed? A lake near you. Where am I on the charts? Always up there, because I'm always out there casting. My casting game is on point. My hook sets are always on time, and I don't play games because I quit school because of recess. Is Kevin Van Dam good? Sure. Am I better? Of course. I'm out there every day working on them fish. What does he got? Information from other people around the country? I'm out there working on it myself, and that's why I'm good. Am I articulate? Of course I am. Am I good on camera? You know I am. Am I the best when it comes to getting out on the water, firing it up, and getting it down? Yes, I absolutely am. It's bass fishing life. It is to me. Other pros be out there, they be on their iPhones and all kinds of stuff, doing them little Instagram things, when getting ready for a tournament. What am I doing? I'm prepping with nature. Confidence is everything. Do I have all that nice fancy gear and stuff like that? Not yet. It don't matter though, because I'm good. Then the other boys out there, they fear me. They fear me because they know if I had if I had half the kind of boat that they did, I'd stomp their butts right into the lake. I've won stuff. I fish Wednesday nighters. I fish Thursday nighters. I do weekends. I'm all about all them tours, you know what I'm saying? I ain't skimping out. All them big pros, man, they out there, just doing them little easy ones there. And everybody just clearing off late. No, I'm out there every day. I'm out there every day. I'm out there every evening. You see this right here? Fourth place, Rayburn, Thursday nighter. Fourth place, son. You know how many pros come from Rayburn? A lot. You know how many great fishermen come from Rayburn? Pretty much everybody. Nobody really understands my potential. Give me social media, cameras, put it on me, because this year's going to be the year. I'm going to fly off the shelf, rocket launch into outer spacism, and nobody's going to be able to stop me. I want you to remember this right here. You may have all them fancy strike kings and all that stuff right here. I got sponsors. There ain't nobody that doesn't want to sponsor me. I pretty much got sponsors everywhere I look. But let me tell you this, it ain't about the lure. Unless it's a spinner bait, but let me tell you something else. It's about your confidence. If you put that in your tackle box, phew, ain't stopping it. And there ain't nothing stopping me because I got that stuff overflowing like a four day rain on Sam Raver coming over the spillway, you know what I mean? The tur life, it's about getting out there on that, that open road, going out there and figuring out the fish. It is man versus the beast. Some folks underestimate bass. Say they got brains the size of peanuts and stuff like that. Let me tell you something. When it's post front conditions, 42 degrees outside blowing 25 mile an hour winds, you think that's easy right there? You think that's easy? Let me tell you something. Character is built when you're out there daggum dragging a ball and chain sea rig, trying to get that fifth bite into the boat so you can make it to next weekend's qualifier on the Bud Tour. If y'all are inspiring to get to my level, you better just shut it down right now. I ain't playing games. I ain't playing no PS5 game box or nothing like that. I'm sitting here tuning my reels. Everything I got super tuned. Every lure I got customized, I done looked at it. I seen what it's doing in the water. I know the exact colors. I know the adjustments. I follow these things. I do it every day. Barometric pressure reader. I got one in my back pocket. Cull rings. I keep them on my waist. Because you never know. You never know when it's time to go. And when somebody wants to throw down the gauntlet on me saying, hey, what's your best five RT? You want to go tonight? I'll bet you five Bud Lights. I will do that. And guess what? I come out top sometimes. I'm getting a little worked up and all that, but I'm just here to let everybody know. Mayflies are out. <clears throat> I've been trying to make the BAST tour for 10 years. This is it. This is it for me. It's all in line. Special things happen when a man dedicates himself to a fish, his fishing pole, 
and a hundred percent concentrate on that y'all ever read that story about old man and sea and all that freaking went out there had a goal hooked it reel that sucker in long time man dedicated to it but he got him in and it took him places he never thought he would go I'm gonna be on top. That's gonna be me on stage up there, talking about all my daggum sponsors. But I, everybody basically is on board right now, preliminaries. They're gonna be more on board later and give me 100% off instead of 15 right now. I got everybody on board. Spread the word. I want y'all to share this. Make sure you, you tell everybody, you know? I mean, listen, when sponsors see this when they see me they know they know it's special it's like that daggum you know conor mcgregor and all that stuff over there just daggum feeling it you hear that that's the sound of my excellent personality coming through the microphone into your earphones was last year kind of an upset deal yes i got a little distracted because i had stuff going on with the boat uh, somebody undid my drag. I accidentally came in 114th. I need to make that top 20. A bad tournament or two will take you down that path. This year, though, it's 100% focus. Life trying to get to the turret is freaking tough, man. You don't always have that extra spare change, you know. I call on my wife, Daisy. You know, we work it out. She's basically manager at Dairy Queen right now, so it's getting there. But I sometimes have to borrow money for entry fees. She doesn't exactly know that, but I'm going to pay her back eventually when I make the tour. They call me RT from ET. Everybody going to know at the end of this year. Y'all make sure to stay tuned. So you want to follow me, you get the best tips. I got the best tips on gear you ever seen in your life. Man, when you grow up in daggum woods, you got to take care of your stuff like you know, we got to sharpen our lawnmower blades and all that kind of deal. You know how to take care of your gear. Country boys know how to take care of their gear. You know what I mean? I'm going to tell you all all my secret tour tips to get there, even though I'm not there yet. Basically there, but I'm giving you all the tips right now when they're free. Because later, it's going to cost you. Look at the storks, man. Crane mode, you know what I'm saying? Enter the bird. The bird's got a fish for a living. You got to pay attention to that. You got to see where is he at. What's he doing right now? He knows where the bait is. That's, that's some everybody don't understand that. Birds got a fish for a living. You, you watch them birds, that's just one tip, y'all. All them girls be on, on the lake be like, hey, RT, hey, RT, how you doing? You catching them today? Number one, I'll be like, yes. Number two, I'm like, don't really bother me right now because it's time to fish. And secondly, I'm married, thirdly, so that you cannot be messing with me. After I win, then we can maybe have a conversation or something like that. But listen, when I'm on the water, I'm concentrating. I'm on that bass. I'm trying to make that big paycheck. I'm trying to get up in that points. I know you got that little ponytail, spaghetti strap thing going on. It's hot. You got sunscreen there. Daisy Dukes. Dag them little fray things on the bottom. See a little Mickey Mouse antler tattoo thing. But that's for later. All right. That ain't for right now. You gotta get up in there in points. Don't let them girls attract you. That's another two. Hey, listen, I got I got tips for days. I'm RT Gibbons. Remember, confidence is the number one thing in your tackle box. Ready for the terror, son. It's all about that terror life. She do them crappie fishing, you know. She like to eat crappie. Who don't like to eat crappie? I mean, god dang. I'm R.T. Gibbons, and if you don't like bass fishing, then you're a soul. I'm R.T. Gibbons, and I like spinner baits. I'm R.T. Gibbons. Remember, stay true to the game. Bass before ass. I'm R.T. Gibbons. Bud Lights, Midnights, and Big Bites. I'm R.T. Gibbons. I'm basically the best. KVD sucks. I'm R.T. Gibbons. It's not about your boat. It's about your float. Bobber cork, that is. I'm R.T. Gibbons, and I'm about 
taking dips and ripping lips.